here, also known as Captivating Cosmetics by Kat. Welcome, welcome. Give me one moment. Okay. Now, I didn't wash my face last night, so I have a little makeup under my eyes. I want to go over or talk about and show you our two products that I have not had the chance to use yet. I have been nonstop, I've been away, I've been so busy. New product launches, new splash lipsticks. It's just been bananas. Our Hottie Lip Plumper is sold out, no longer available, done. I have three available in stock that I will ship to anyone in the US for free. So let me know. Hello, hello. So I wanna try our Behold Setting Spray. I have not tried that yet, so I'm gonna do it with you guys. And our Touch Loose Powder Foundation and see how that goes. So we are doing this together, together. Okay. I'm messing this headband up. I sure am. Whew. All right. Now I need, you know what I wish I could find? I have no idea what to do with it is my primer my primer all right let's start off with some rose water we'll do some moisturizer i like to use the hydrating day cream with spf 20 in it right here as you can see i'm running low because i love it so much we also have a day cream for oily skin with spf 20 and we have a day cream without the spf if you would like that. Some people don't like SPF in their products. Totally get it. Um, all right, now I'm a little upset because I don't know where my primer is and for me that goes hand in hand. I have no idea what I did with it. I'm really not happy. I'm trying to think. I don't have a clue. <gasps> Wait. I might have remembered. Okay, I'm just gonna use the eye primer. A little squirt, and then just put that around my face because I, I feel like I need to have a primer. Because my skin is so dry. So we gonna do that. Um. All right, let's talk about this Behold. Behold. Mom, yes, babe? There's a chocolate. What? Give me a minute. I'll be down, I'll be down in a few minutes. All right, let's see. Advanced formula. Powderful coverage. This is it here, comes in a box. I'm going to use chiffon, which is the color I would use during the summer after tanning. So this is it here, chiffon. Alrighty. So it says, get ready to shake up your makeup with our limited edition touch loose powder foundation, an innovative way to get gorgeous, smooth looking skin. So this airy pigmented foundation is best applied with our powder concealer brush, which I have here. So when you open it, there's a little plastic piece here that you just want to go ahead and pull up. Let's see if I can get it with these nails. Girl, gotta get these nails cut. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's a little dark. It's definitely darker than the foundation, the liquid foundation. I might have to use 
Corganza. We're going to check it out, though. We're going to try it out. We'll try both colors. Um, all right. It covers any imperfections to create a beautiful base for the rest of your makeup. Sounds good. It's beautiful on its own as a natural daytime look. Or I think you can go ahead and add your touch powder foundation, not the loose, but the pressed powder foundation on top too for even more coverage, because that's high coverage. So you can go ahead and apply that after. Let's see. Swirl your brush into the mesh. So there's a little mesh lining in here. Swirl your brush. Okay, swirling, swirling. Tap the brush to release excess powder. Then begin circling the brush onto your face until you've achieved the coverage you'd like. Here we go. Oh. Now, I have to say, I never wear powder foundation because I have psoriasis on my face and it's always dry. So me and powder, like adding more dryness, never goes well. So I'm interested to see how this works. Typically for dry skin, you wouldn't use a powder. You would use some sort of liquid or cream. I don't feel anything on my face at all. It feels like nothing's on. Hmm. Let's see what it says. Okay, just says continue circling until you are satisfied with the amount of coverage. Let's circle away then. I mean, I could definitely see a difference. And although it looks darker than the Touch Liquid Foundation, I don't think it's as dark. I think I could go one more up. If you've tried it, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me look in a mirror. Well, I will say adding it is not making my dryness pop out. Usually if you add a powder on top of dry skin, you can see all those flakes. I'm not getting that, but I'm also not getting the coverage that I, I like, to be honest. Um, this is going to work for many. Some people who don't really wear foundation or who don't have a lot of redness to cover up would love this. Anybody who has oily skin perfect this is so light so light it feels like I'm not putting anything on it's really wild actually I feel like I could put on this whole container oh there we go I didn't tap it as much okay here we go now we're getting some action that was better I think I've been tapping off way too much product just the tiniest tap will do. Uh, okay. Do not tap it a lot. It makes such a huge difference. I was tapping way too much of the product off. And no wonder why I'm not seeing it. Now you see the difference, right? Now you see the difference? I was tapping off all the product. And that's why I couldn't see the difference. I couldn't see that product on my face, but now I do. I like it. This is the first powder I've ever liked, honestly. It does not feel like I have a powder on my face at all. At all. See the difference? 
Now you can see it, right? <gasps> That's wild. Okay, I like it. All right, okay. I'm picking up what you're laying down here, loose powder. I was a dope. I like that. All right. Let's see what it says. Let's look at some details, shall we? It does not feel cake, cakey or heavy. Seamless, smooth color leaves a natural looking yet radiant skin. I would agree with that 100%. I would agree with that. My skin looks like I'm not even wearing anything on there. It looks 100% natural, but hides all those little imperfections. It's super lightweight. It does not feel like I'm wearing a powder at all. It's not bringing out any of the dryness for my psoriasis. I like it. This is a good product. Touch loose foundation. Loose powder foundation. This is good. You can see the little, can you see the powder pop up? And this is the brush to apply it with, powder concealer brush. Now we'll blend it on the other side so I don't look crazy. I like that there's a little net here so that when I'm going in, I'm not getting it fully covered and like, like totally submerging it into the powder and wasting a lot of product. This kind of helps you to save product actually, which will means it's going to last you longer. This is going to last me a very long time. I cannot believe that I am wearing a powder on my face. Me, me. I have psoriasis all over my face. I've never been able to wear a powder, ever. No, no, no. Because the powders always enhance the dryness. I'm shocked right now. My kids are fighting downstairs. Hunter's off from school today. Yay! Driving me nuts. I just had them clean their whole entire playroom. So at least that's done. Gotta get these kids in check, you know? I think it looks good. Oh, here comes one. He's gonna ride out the other one. Watch, watch. Let's see. What's up? Who doesn't bet me? Look. He bit you? Oh, he got you good. <gasps> Ooh. Ow, ow. He's gonna get it. What'd you do? You bet your brother? He's ignoring me. <laughs> Stay away from him. I'm gonna be dropping you off in a little bit to Nanny's. Why? Because I got stuff to do, man. All right, so that's the Touch Loose Powder. Love it. Let me just see what this setting spray is all about real quick. All right, Unique's Touch Behold Setting Spray. Just got it. Sprays effortlessly to lock in your look and place so you could take on the world. Refresh throughout the day with a limit, with a light mist, excuse me, to reset makeup or use as a primer for refining matte look. So this is going to give you a flawless finish. You know, I do love a setting spray. I used to use another brand back in the Dizay. Um, and I stopped after finding out the ingredients in that brand. So I'm excited. Lightweight, non-sticky formula sets makeup in place for a lasting, fresh look. It can double as a primer when used before makeup. I should have read this beforehand. <laughs> for additional refining and mattifying benefits. So this is really good if you have dry skin too. You could add it, I mean, uh, excuse me, oily skin. You would spray first before applying your makeup, then spray to finish. Formula boosts makeup's staying power in even extreme conditions. Features ingredients known to refresh and condition the skin. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This is a nice size bottle, by the way. Let's compare bottles. 
This is the Behold, and this is the Rosewater. So you're getting a lot of product. Um, 120 milliliters in this one. 40 milliliters in this one, okay? So more than double, triple actually. Let's spritz. Okay, okay. I feel like it's going out way too fast though, right? Ooh, feels nice. It has a very light scent to it. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It almost smells like a shampoo or a hairspray. It's nice though, but I feel like there should be a better spritz. It's coming out way too fast to put on my face. So I'm gonna let them know. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be, but it does feel good. It feels refreshing. It, it's definitely lightweight. Oh, shake the bottle first. Okay, it's in that. Apply makeup before using the setting spray to lock it in place. I did that. Okay, so you would wait for this to dry and then continue on and apply the rest of your makeup. Good to know. Use underneath the foundation or on bare skin to get a more matte look. Oh, no wonder why it's coming out so fast. Shake bottle, hold it eight to 10 inches away from your face. Okay, so this isn't gonna work, people, okay? So don't follow my directions. Okay, makes a big difference back there. Woo! I like it. I think um, I would give this a A plus. Two brand new products. I actually have a ton of these available if you guys want, and I might have one of these. So let me know, comment below, send me a private message, and let's get these guys out to you because I think you are going to love it. I'm a fan. All right, guys, I got to go do some training, and I will be back on later tonight to do a complete makeup look. Talk to you later.